the lord is going to fulfill what he has promised to you and to me once again lift up your hands let me pray for you in the name of jesus i stand near to jesus and i bless you by the sign of the cross the devil lord demons moving like a roaring lion disturbing you stealing something from you killing something in your life disturbing you 24 into 7 i command to you wicked spirit who are rolling and moving around the logosians come out be bound at the feet of jesus amen the lord almighty may set you free by taking his eternal sword isaiah 27 2 god has taken isaiah 27 verse 1 god has taken a powerful sword that is his word and he cut down lucifer the ancient serpent most powerful word the heavenly father you stagnant you are enemy and our enemy lucifer the ancient serpent fleeing and moving god cut this serpent into pieces so this dragon will not trouble you here after as long as the word of god is on your tongue utter the word of god in the name of jesus i use the heavenly father's sword to chase lucifer and demons away from you power of black magic power of spell and curse let it be removed i apply the blood of jesus on you now amen i apply the blood of jesus on your house family door post and all your concerns let the lord touch you and heal you now and set you free from the dominion of evil one and black magic amen 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 so today your prayer is answered and what he has promised you are going to get it increase blessing and his love taste and see how good is the lord you have to experience it how good is the lord and share this goodness with others that is your testimony every blessing is only a prayer away every blessing because god is ready to give you the blessing but that blessing is only a prayer away some kind of purchase is only a click away just click and order but in the spiritual matters every blessing is only a prayer away when you pray the lord will give it to you sometimes there is no words for the prayer not needed first samuel 115 hana said i am not using words but i am just pouring out my heart in the presence of my lord she came with a lot of sorrows in her heart lot of humiliation and she was depressed then she was pouring out her heart in the presence of god no words nothing came out the hana answered i am a woman deeply troubled how many of you are deeply troubled there are many somebody will ask you after this if you lift up your hand what is your trouble what is your trouble that will make you more troubles but you pour out your heart now if you are deeply troubled hana he she said i am deeply troubled i have not drunk neither wine nor strong drink but i have been pouring out my soul my heart before the lord And that is the answer giving prayer pouring out the heart hallelujah hallelujah when you pray people will misunderstood you people can misunderstand you and already misunderstood you how long you are praying how many days you are praying how many 3 o'clock adoration you participated what you have received for samuel 1:13 even 
high priest the highest one who or the highest authority of that time related to religion the high priest eli said what kind of prayer woman you are doing it is it a prayer are you drunk hana was praying silently only her lips moved but her voice was not heard therefore eli thought she was drunk the people who criticized you because of your prayer marginalized you because of your faith criminalized you because of your faith and prayer but after seeing your blessing they will be stunned they will be astonished such kind of blessing that you are going to receive today Amen. extend your hands once again extend your hands once again after seeing blessing after blessing in your life they will be ashamed because they criticized you they ill treated you they mocked you when you prayed in the presence of your enemies god will prepare a table for you amen amen psalm 23 5 in the presence of the enemies god will prepare a wonderful table for you delicious table in the presence of your enemies let them see it keep your hands down there was a pastor he has a son this preacher son is not interested in prayer and the preacher wanted to teach him a lesson he invited all his friends on his birthday and he prepared a small table with little dishes on it in a corner and asked the son you are not interested in prayer so all my colleagues are prayer warriors but you are not at all interested so i prepare a small table for you in the corner you don't come and eat with our guest and the family you sit alone there that day the son looked around more delicious food on the main table the small table in the corner hardly one or two he lifted up his hand and he prayed thank you heavenly father you have prepared a table in front of my enemies my table is also overflowing because of your blessings unseen blessings in my life suddenly the father said little fellow you come and join with us otherwise you will take another psalm also he knows it but he is not interested in prayer there are people like that they criticize others they know the prayers but they don't do it those who are doing it they criticize but when time comes you have to lift up your hands lift up your hands now once again pray the lord is blessing you now according to the promise word thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus keep your hands down your prayer is answered testimony number 1 philip thomas giving a testimony from koilon testimony number 1 my fatty liver is healed his prayer is answered the promise word is fulfilled the blessings multiplied testimony number 2 juliet de sousa from pune my daughter is blessed with the gift of child after four years she is blessed like a hana was blessed she was pouring out her heart during the 3 o'clock adoration number 3 sindhya from bangalore she gives a testimony i am blessed with the child she also prayed like hana she received the blessing all people criticized her amazed seeing her blessing testimony number 5 Sharon from Mumbai my flat was sold out successfully it was in bondage through this prayer all bondage will be broken lift up your hands let us pray pray for us oh holy mother of god that we may be worthy of all promises of christ mama maria i beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions mama maria i beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria i beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria i beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria i beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment 
fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise mama maria beseech your son jesus for the fulfillment of all our intentions and today's promise pray for us so holy mother of god that we may be worthy of all promises of christ Let us pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet for the fulfillment of all our intentions and promises in the Bible. 8,000 promises are there that is going to be fulfilled during the time of Chaplet because Divine Mercy Chaplet is a powerful prayer. Not only we are blessed but the entire world is being blessed through this prayer. Because we pray for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Whole world. When I started this prayer in 1999 in this place, one small child was crying out and praying very loudly. I listened what he is praying. He is praying, Abba Father, have mercy on us and on the whole world and on the cold world. Yes, he is praying for the cold world because he is fighting with the cold and also heat of the atmosphere and he didn't know that too. what is the whole world he was thinking that is the cold world so we pray for the whole world and for all sick and suffering lifting up your hands look into jesus let us begin the prayer you aspired, aspired jesus, jesus but the, the source, source of, of life, life gushed for the souls and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world, world. O oh, fount, fount of life, life unfathomable divine mercy, envelop, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out, out upon us. O oh, blood and water, which gushed from, from the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us, us I trust in you. you. Keep our hands down. Our oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God. The, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and, and born of the Virgin, Virgin Mary. Mary. He, he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Your family is going to be blessed. Finance is going to be blessed. According to the promise word, Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 13, He is going to bless you and increase you. He is going to love you, continue to love you, and continue to bless you, continue to increase and multiply everything in you. Now the families are getting wonderful blessing. Eternal Father, I, I offer, offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world our hope is rested in the promises of jesus am i right yes father so we are standing on the promises of god and that is going to be fulfilled the reason that the one who has given the promise is still alive amen who is alive jesus who is alive jesus you can face tomorrow because he is alive, alive. thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you lord thank you lord once again we lift up our hands in the name of jesus i pray over your families there are promises that god has given connected with the families and all these promises are being fulfilled in your family you will have children and grandchildren that's a promise isaiah chapter 29 words 5 and 6 that promise we fulfilled in you you may have children and you may have um, grandchildren and a house with a garden around it that promise be fulfilled Amen. and today's promise also be fulfilled blessing and increase and multiplication in all your resources that may happen in your career in your business in your field you may enjoy this promise that is being fulfilled because your hope is being rested in the promise of the lord jesus christ Amen. in the name of jesus i bless your finances i bless your career i bless your field let it give you wonderful produce wonderful blessings the lord may remove all the sorrows all the shortages connected with your finance and family amen proverbs chapter 10:22 god will not add sorrows into his promise god will not add sorrows into your family nor of finances because he has given you a family Ephesians chapter 3:15 every family takes its origin from God so your family is a gift from God and also your resources are given to you to glorify God Proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 glorify the Lord through your finances in the name of Jesus i bless you so that you may conceive today those who want to conceive In the name of Jesus I bless all children who are autistic let them be healed Amen. I bless all people who are sitting on wheelchair having no mobility as John has given today the live testimony how he was healed of his paralysis how he is healed of his damage gallbladder damage how he is healed of his acute d- diseases the same thing may happen the lord may bind and cast out all negative spirits spirit of alcoholism spirit of jealousy spirit of anger spirit of unforgiveness from your family the lord may give you wonderful blessing amen amen keep your hands down so when we stand in proxy pray in proxy something will happen in a distance today we have a brother he has come from chennai kindly stand up when his mother was seriously sick and uh, there is no hope only one percentage she was paralyzed closed her eyes could not move hands and legs with all that difficulty and pain he has come to this retreat and he got a message she opened her eyes lifting up her hands moving the legs make considerable progress Amen. when he is standing and praying in proxy thank brother you, lift Jesus up your both hands and glorify the lord thank you Jesus. and he has come from chennai to give attend this week retreat for on account of his paralyzed hopeless mother 
so all situations will improve kindly sit down all situations will improve amen job chapter 42 verse 10 job job was most blessed but he turned as a person who is supposed to be punished by god his friends misunderstood him family misunderstood him and still he kept faith in god but all people criticized you are a criminal you have done something wrong that's why you got this punishment from god his prayer life spiritual life and his integrity was questioned but still this man endured it because he knew job 4210 my god will give me the double portion so job was blessed toys as much as he had praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus so the job was blessed and god gave him toys as much as he had before all these sorrows and sadness and disgrace around you that will disappear amen what will appear the blessings will appear in your life love of god will appear in your life increase and multiplication will appear in your life let us pray together now the lord has blessed some families lifting up our hands when i prayed in this morning the lord has given some names also keep on praying lifting up your hands sarto the lord has answered your prayers Thank evita you. the lord has touched you and blessed you amen sheldon the lord has answered your prayers and healed your heart ailments thank you jesus Ro- rovina the lord has answered your prayers amen. manjunath the lord has touched you and blessed you anil jesus. the lord has blessed you now thank you lord basil the lord has answered your prayers thank you jesus rebecca the lord has answered your prayers thank you jesus sakurno the lord has touched you turned your life and have a f- bright future and all of you are being blessed today because the promise word guarantees it amen eternal father i, I offer, offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord, lord jesus christ, christ. in, in atonement, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have a mercy on us and on the whole world now the power of the lord is moving over you like a gentle breeze the joy of the lord descending upon you the sorrows in your heart will be turned into a blessing keep your hands down and all of you may stand up first corinthians chapter 15 verse 22 any curse in your life only believe in jesus the curse in this world happened because of one man's sin another man has come that is jesus offered his life on the cross and he has taken our curse into him and he was crucified and turned this curse into blessing so those who have a curse in their life no need to go for any place to remove the curse from you come closer to jesus he will turn your curse into blessing let us read first corinthians chapter 15 uh, verse 22 hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus as all die in adam all received curse and death through adam and so all will be made alive in christ jesus 
So one man death has come through another man life has come one man curse has come another man blessing has come thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord praise you lord praise you lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus i just remove all the curse from you hereafter no curse will remain in you amen genesis chapter 3 verse 17 this world is also cursed god almighty said because of the sin and you listen to the voice of the devil and some other people and i you have violated my commandment you shall not eat the fruit of it cursed is the ground where you are standing where is the curse has come first time the word curse is used in this place first time in the bible because of the adam and eve and their sins and disobedience the entire world is cursed hallelujah, hallelujah. and also their sorrows and difficulties multiplied because of the curse now lift up your hands through one man curse has come to this world and it falls upon all through another man the whole world is going to be set free from curse Amen. galatians chapter 3 verse 13 the one who died on the cross is cursed because he took the curse from us and all those who believe in jesus in all religions people can believe in jesus even without taking baptism but they need a baptism by desire that's enough and without taking membership any of the christian denominations all religions and followers of religions can become a disciple of jesus then galatians chapter 3 14 will be fulfilled in their life right from abraham lot of blessings which god has promised all these promises right from abraham or right from adam onwards all the blessings in all places that will come upon you Amen. 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 Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. So we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith when we have faith in Jesus. In order that in Christ Jesus the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles. Bible says to the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? The people who are in other religions having faith in God. They are called the Gentiles. People who worship devil direct worship of devil they are called the pagans hallelujah hallelujah so church says bible says gentiles people who belong to different religions but having faith in god in their own way gentiles when they start believing in jesus buddhist jainists rastian sikh parsis all start believing in jesus what will happen they have not taken any baptism nor of any membership any of the churches but they have taken membership in the church of jesus in the family of jesus by their faith baptism by faith and what all things going to happen right from abraham all the promises will come fulfilled what a great blessing that god has given to all human beings now there is one more promise i will defeat your enemies but you have to pray psalm 103 verse 4 he has defeated our enemies oh my soul do not forget the blessings of the lord he has defeated your enemies he has healed your diseases he has answered your prayers he has renewed your youth like the youth of an eagle oh my soul do not forget the blessings of the lord lift up your hands now look into jesus all terrorists all over the world strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel these are not personal enemies they are enemies of the humanity enemies of the church and enemies of all religions 
all terrorists all over the world strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all unjust war mongers strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all the words of injustice strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all cheaters liars land grabbers looters and cyber criminals strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all those who are doing injustice strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all acceptors of bribe strike them lord with all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel all devil worshipers and demon worshipers strike them lord with all all seven swords especially the sword of elisha messiah and saint gabriel now we lift up our hands the seventh group devil worshipers demon worshipers sorcerers what about the bible says about them first corinthians chapter 10 verse 20 first corinthians chapter 10 verse 20 their name is called pagans pagans worship demons gentiles are not disciples of jesus are not bible says the pagans sacrifice to demons not to god i do not want you to be the part of the demons the people who belong to different different religions are not the pagans they are considered the gentiles and these gentiles have a right to know the word of god gentiles have the right to know the word of god Romans chapter 15 verse 16 Romans 15 16 I preach the gospel to the gentiles I preach Jesus to the gentiles as I preach every day I preach to the gentiles to all religions all worshipers of God in all religions about Jesus so that all their prayers be answered all their curses be removed Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. And Jesus said go around the world make my disciples. And from the disciples those who want to take baptism or membership in the church that is their own personal choice. They are called Christians. But all people are not Christians but they are disciples of Jesus. That is a group from all religions believing in Jesus and getting all the promises in their life fulfilled hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus and thank they you, cancel jesus. all the curses now what is what are the seventh group standing against you standing against all religions they are pagans devil worshipers demon worshipers sorcerers but jesus remove all the curses from you today the lord has blessed as blessed the people from all 12 religions amen thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus and jesus loves all these disciples amen thank you lord what is it i give you blessing i will give you increase and i give you my love and concern amen through your acp prayer spiritual and glossal prayer with the seven steps according to this book or combined book ACP prayer i have seen more than of 700 750 people are set free from the wrong doings of these seven groups thank you lord thank you jesus hallelujah nearly 28 land grabbers are running away from the land they encroached amen thank you jesus 250 people are just returning the documents which they forged and occupied illegally thank you, thank you jesus thank cyber you. criminals more than of 400 cyber crimes fraud fraudulent act in the account they just withdrawn and returned the money amen that's the power of the striking prayer our god is powerful jesus is so powerful at the same time he is very lovingly and lovable and lovingly looking upon even criminals but don't allow them to continue their criminal criminal activities that's why you have to i have to do striking prayer to save them not falling into hell that prayer is contained in the love of god because of the love towards these people we do the striking prayer and suspend their 
possessed faculties this prayer you can even use your children against your children kindly sit down now the lord has blessed you abundantly now we all lift up our hands and we pray for healing of our inner wounds eternal father, father I, i offer, offer you, you the body and blood, blood soul and divinity of, of your dearly beloved son, son our lord, lord jesus christ, christ in, in atonement, atonement for, for our sins, sins and those, those of the whole world, world. for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of His sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Name Ida. You are suffering of sciatic pain, very terrible pain. Right now, you are being healed. Amen. And along with you, more than one hundred and fifty people are healed of their severe back pain. Thank you, Jesus. And Father tailbone Lord. fracture. Three persons are being healed. One person's name, Melvin. You are tailbone giving you lot of trouble. That. tailbone fracture or damage is being healed thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus now we pray for healing of inner wounds a testimony connected with it testimony number 8 lorraine giving a testimony my son is depressed this is a problem of inner wound depressed for very very long years why she did it praying along with the logosians all over the world and she did binding and casting out prayer the spirit of depression get out of my son now her son is perfectly healed there is no depression amen thank lift up your hands and pray all spirit of depression in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus spirit of sickness and weakness in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of spirit jesus spirit of anti christ that entered into many and turned them as enemies of christ in the name of jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of jesus The spirit of black magic spell and curse. In the name of Jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Spirit of jealousy. In the name of Jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Spirit of lust. In the name of Jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of spirit Jesus. Spirit of paralysis. In the name of Jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. Spirit of anger. In the name of Jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. The spirit of substance abuse. In the name of Jesus we bind you and cast you out and send you to the feet of Jesus. In the name of Jesus I pray over your inner wounds. over your fear anxiety depression continuous sorrow schizophrenia bipolar disorder phobia let the good lord set you free let the lord set you free from certain types of ocd and also blasphemous thought ugly thoughts the lord may set you free the lord may set you free from your insomnia Amen. thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus keep your hands down testimony number 7 Veena giving a testimony there was a lump behind my ear 3 o'clock adoration i touched the crucifix thank you jesus testimony number 14 sabita from uk there was a lump in my breast that also vanished gradually i touched the crucifix i placed that hand on my lump that disappeared Thank, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Testimony number 16. Litwin Fernandez giving a testimony. I am healed from vertigo after 20 years without any medicine. I am healed. Thank you Jesus. Testimony number 12. Dominic giving this testimony. My father-in-law recovered from a lung infection and heart enlargement. Thank you Jesus. All glory and honor to Jesus forever and ever. Amen. So let us pray. for our physical healings and healings of the children who are autistic crippled deaf and mute and hyperactive they all are going to be transformed today all of you may lift up your hands 
just to think of the promises he loves you that's a promise children i love you that's a promise so i just extend my help and i extend my healing i extend my increase and multiplication now all of you pray psalm 40 verse 17 to psalm 40 verse 17 I am poor and needy. I am poor and needy. My may Lord think of me. May Lord think of me. You are my help and deliverer. You are my help and deliverer. You are my God. You are my God. Do not delay. Do not delay. Psalm 40 for 0 verse 17. What a what a wonderful promise that God has given in this psalm. I am poor, I am very needy, I am very shabby. but oh lord you just think of me you just thought of me and you are my help and my deliverer and my refuge do not delay oh lord come now and heal me as in your right hand touch the lord and say come lord come come lord come maranatha maranatha do not make a delay do not make come a delay come and touch me lord come and touch and me lord set me free and set from me free this bondage of from sickness from this bondage of sickness hallelujah hallelujah eternal father i offer, I offer you, you the body, the body and, and blood the soul, soul and divinity, and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion how mercy on us and on the whole world touch the crucifix touch the blessed sacrament place that hand on your sickness or on your chest